So how you, how you feel about Trump getting immunity? Uh, I love it. Yeah, I think the president should be able to have immunity for anything, even taking <laughs> Yeah, I think the president should be able to take and everything. He's the president. <laughs> so, so not leaving the situation that we're talking about with Tia. We'll, we'll leave her. Uh, but the, seeing the situation that happened with Rick Ross, when he, with him coming face to face we with We're going to come back to Tia, though. Okay, cause, okay cause, we can definitely hit Tia. Be, 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 because, because, homie, that's, that's the problem in the black community, homie, the black man versus the black woman. So, so imagine if so many black women are cheering for her, and this is a woman who is publicly humiliating her son's father. Imagine what the children are doing to her son. The things that they hearing, so to see a house divided, homie, so yeah, we laughing, but the son have to deal with the public shame. And of, it seems like she was also attacking the, uh, his other children. Uh, I, know he, I know she was specifically attacking another baby mother of his. Man, listen. Uh, because yeah. she said you had the wrong son and no, proceeded no, 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 to no, bash no. him. No, no, I, I had to write one. No, I had, she I, said you had a wrong son in one of the posts, and she proceeded to bash that son. But but all the kids look like Rick Ross. Yeah. So she got a big fat son with big titties. He got titties like Ross. He got big round nipples like her. So he got his daddy's, you know, his daddy's nipples in his mama's titties. <laughs> uh, so, you know, he got big thighs, big <laughs> wide hips. Uh, and he's slow. He can't tackle. So he don't start on the football team. And he, was, and he going to Bethune College. Bethune College is like a special ed HBCU. So there ain't no mother college you jump up and say, Chay, that boy going to the NFL. Nowhere in the history of Bethune College have anybody made it to the NFL. <laughs> Nowhere in Bethune ain't no mother they never went nowhere from Bethune. Man, please, that bitch just talking. And that hoe just mad that so. Man, we got to talk about that in depth, and we'll get back to that. Now, what were you saying about him? In so the so it, it, it all ties in, right? Uh, Rose, right? Rick Ross is out in the crowd in Vancouver where that happened. Now, yeah. you've had a lot of run-ins with people. Yeah. And if you were to give him advice on, like, what did you think about him standing Say, face-to-face listen, face listen, with listen. these people? Mother be laughing at that mace. Mother be saying, who don't move? Don't number women pack mace. You a lying mother if you think no nobody but you got the police got mace, the prison guard got mace, the mother soldier in the military got mace. So this is what mace does. Mace diffuse some shit. It levels the playing field. So you got a crowd of mother You standing right there, don't nobody know you got mace in your pocket. It's look like it's getting a little rowdy. Mother talking too loud. You getting fur coming from your ankles up to your waist. By the time that fur get to your waistline, you done pulled the mace out your pocket. By the time that fur get in your heart, you done mace the crowd. At least I will. Yeah, once I go to feeling a little inkling of fur, now I'm going to go to mason, man, shooting some shit. So now, nah, had he had that mace, he could have, man, defused the situation and, and all of that. Yeah, at least the security should have had it. Man, whoever needs somebody to have that mace and then have something sharp. So when motherfuckers can't see, you go to poking. And now there's uh, people saying that that could escalate and turn it into, you know, where Drake comes to Miami. I, I'm hoping, I'm hoping when Drake come to Miami, they got one of them Haitian motherfuckers that don't have a visa or identity or a driving license and crash out. And that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> I'm hoping they got a Haitian motherfucker don't care nothing about nothing. And when Drake and his entourage come. I'm hoping that mother Haitian crash out like the seven mother from the Taliban did on 9-11. <laughs> I'm talking about some suicide. I can't say that. Let me yeah, stop. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. I want my, yeah. I want my to get it much to say. Yeah, but yeah, I'm yeah. They're taking I'm, it away. They're yeah, taking it away. Yeah, yeah, but just mute this out and make them pay for it. But I hope they got a Haitian that's willing to die <laughs> to get them mother Because cause this is what got me mad, homie. It was no that was with Rick Ross, it was all white boys. Nah, it wasn't just white boys. I ain't see no. Oh, yeah, nah, I, they, they, I, I, I went and looked specifically. Nah, there's the, the the one that I didn't see one nigga throw a punch at. A, it was all white boys. Nah, so nah, in my nah, mind, this yeah. was a racist event, and they'd have made this into Canadian against Canadian white boys. I mean, American niggas against Canadian white boys. So I'm saying when. A 
come from Miami, they need to be ch checking every white boy to see if he's from Canada. If not, punch his girlfriend. <laughs> Hit his and see how tough he is. Bitch, now nah, start punishing the Canadian girlfriend. Because then now, nah, this is a they done jumped on. A from a real This a real And they done got into a rap beef? Nah, nah, nah. We got to make this a race war. In my mind, <laughs> that, but that, but that's why I don't get into this type of shit. Cause I'm gonna take it over, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna yeah, make yeah. it by race. Uh, yeah, yeah. You're about, you're about to make this like Tupac and Biggie, nah, and people I'm, are gonna start I, killing nah, each other. I'm making. Yeah, I don't want. I don't want. I'm making to this kill like. I'm making. I want to die for what they done done. They done, yeah, they yeah. done, yeah. done this to Rick Ross and knock the out. Man, somebody mama. Man, they supposed to jump on Drake mama behind it. Yeah, Drake I, mama's supposed to be getting jumped on behind I'm, it. I'm okay with Drake. I like Drake. I'm nah, a Drake. I'm a, man, nigga, supposed to whoop anything. anything. I don't want anybody to hurt I do. anybody. They Rick I Ross, don't want anybody Rick, to Rick hurt Ross anybody. Rick Ross got hurt, so why can't nobody get hurt? They done hurt the yeah. The nigga done got hurt, so why can't nobody else be hurt? I feel you. I'm yeah, out, yeah, I'm, I'm right. I'm out. I, I don't want to see, I don't see any man, more Man, I want us. I'm praying in the name of Jesus and I lied that it's an ignorant Haitian ride with Rick Ross that gets somebody from Drake camp. Never. Another Tupac and Biggie dying anyway. So, so not only are you sitting here, right? That's why I say it all. No, nah, no, nah, I'm in. just playing, y'all. Yeah. Let me, I'm just playing. Karen. <laughs> Let me stop this shit. I got a show that's funded by good white Mormon folks, and I'm just playing, y'all. This is all for comedy. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. No, nah, I just look I serious. That, yeah, man. yeah, yeah. I just look serious. No, nah, I'm just bullshit. Listen. So w w where this all ties in is that all happens, right? And you talk about the in the hole. And Tia seems to just go online and use that as another opportunity to bash him again. Now that's putting the children. The children well, are involved. Uh, well, well, now, homie, just think about this, money. I don't give a damn how low down and dirty you are as a mother or a father. Secretly, in your children's hearts, you still a hero. Even as a crack fiend mama, you always was, was a black, black queen, queen mama. mama. You heard Pac. Yeah. So I don't care how, how wrong you are as a parent, secretly in your children's heart, there's a hope that you could be something better than what you are. So your, mother's, your, your mother is your God. Uh, your father is a superhero. So here it is, your God bashing your superhero. So when you look in the mirror, I wouldn't be surprised if this boy is a big punk because he's confused. Here his mother is displaying the attributes of a masculine male. And she's being ch clear ch champion for this, to bash her daddy. So when he look at his mother and his father, he's watching other black people cheer to divide him. So secretly when he's on the toilet, when he's in the bed by himself, when he's, he got to process this. Half of his chromosomes is his mother. The other half is his father. So when he look in the mirror, because he's a big boy, and he hear his mother saying, big back mother when he get out the shower, he got to wash his back and dry his back off. You don't think he look at his back and say, I wonder, is my back big like my daddy, like my mama say? So you don't think when he hear the things that this is saying about his daddy, he don't internalize that because even through a divorce, it's been proven when children go to counseling, they internalize the divorce. They blame themselves. When children get molested, they blame themselves. When they get abused, they blame themselves. You don't think this kid is internalizing the shit that his mother, the venomous and poisonous things and words that his mother strategically and specifically uses on a day-to-day -day basis? Not only that. The same auntie that made it possible for him to go to another college outside of Bethune because his mother cannot provide for him to go to college. When she filed her income tax returns and this young brother applies for his FAFSA application, he's not using his father's tax information. So they're not paying for college out of pocket. So it ain't like this bitch putting him through college. She going to college out $5. The taxpayer's dollar. He ain't got no scholarship. So come on, man. So we as black people, let a white police officer shoot a no good rotten
like George Floyd. And we are top the country for a like George Floyd. But here it is, a black man who took every good care of his child because he made his last child support payment when most people don't even pay child support. Behind on child support. Not only that, this kid will inherit over a billion dollar empire. And we cheering for this Nobody's gonna defend this black man, but let a white police officer kill a no good rotten who don't want to go to jail. That's why I didn't give a f about George Floyd. That's why I don't give a f when the police kill him. Because here it is, we'll cheer for this shit. No, George Floyd should have took his bitch ass to jail for the white boy made him get down on the floor. The white man gave him a chance to go to jail in the car before he swallowed the fentanyl drugs, remember? Before he started crying like a He didn't, he didn't, that would have still been alive. He just would have went to jail like most. Man, take me to jail, bitch, that white boy. Go on, take me to jail. Say, baby, come get me. Bitch, that nigga didn't even want to go to jail. But we go tear up the country. We go talk, ride for it. Man, that black, that's why I say black lives matter ain't shit. It's a bunch of Get bull diger bitch running some shit that's playing on the racism. And racism don't even exist no more in this country. It's just socialism and classism. It's socialism and classism. Racism been gone, dumbass. For the, for the fans, for the new fans, right? When yeah, you I done got mad. When you, when, when you watch this man bitch. bounce, when you see him bouncing up and down, it's a problem. I'm just, I'm just letting you know. I found, I found that out in the comment section. I said, I see. Yeah, I done got mad. Yeah. Cause they, homie, this is a black man. Not only that, he's not a criminal black man because he once was a correction officer that they try to shame for. What's wrong with being a correction officer? So you can go into prison and give your niggas a fair shake. What's wrong with being a black PO? So you can go give your niggas a fair shake, my. What's wrong with being a black police officer so you can go patrol and not worry about the white boys? Why not? But we go shame him for doing that. Come on, man. We supposed to be honoring a black father like him.